All right, friends, so today we are going to make some homemade scratch art. Um, really don't need many materials for this. Um, you can use regular crayons or oil crayons, uh, paper. I've got uh, some wooden skewers here or a paper clip um, to use to scratch. Um, you can also use black paint or ink, but that's not necessary because you can use black crayon as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill my page with lots of bright light colors. That's the best kind of color to use for scratch art because it'll create a lot of contrast when you put that black over it. So I'm gonna start by filling in my page and kind of making it an overall pattern, not just doing big areas of color because then you won't see all the colors come through when you scratch if you only have certain colors in certain areas. So I'm gonna start that first. So now I've filled in my whole paper with lots of bright color and I've gone over it with black crayon uh, pretty aggressively and hard, really covering up that color. So you wanna bear down nice and hard until you color the entire picture over with the black crayon. Now the other way you can do it is by covering it with black paint if you have that at home. Um, so I'm gonna show you that one next. So now we're gonna scratch into it and you can use a paper clip. Um, I have a skewer here, like a, a barbecue skewer if you happen to have those, little wooden skewers, or you can use any kind of uh, pointy tool um, that might work. Okay, so once you have that ready to go, you should be able to go in and create all kinds of designs using this tool. So you can make swirls, you can do flowers, you could do little faces. Really, you can do anything you'd like. I'm just about done working on this one. I added lots of designs and details to it. There are parts where I've actually scratched into to kind of color in areas where I'm revealing more of the color underneath rather than just drawing. So you can do areas where you decide you want to see all the color and scratch away all of that. And because of the scratching, it makes a really cool texture. Um, you can write words in here if you want. Um, words are a really cool way to add some interesting detail to your scratch art. You know, experiment, try different things, try different ideas. You can get different designs online if you want. Um, Zentangles are a great thing to use for something like this. You can also use henna designs to add details. Um, there's lots of great stuff out there that you can use for um, inspiration if you'd like. So I'm gonna move on to the painting one and show you that if you happen to have those materials at home. The first thing I'm gonna do is put down a piece of paper so I don't get black paint on the table. Uh, I have a brush here. I'm gonna take the brush and put some black paint on it. And I am going to brush a layer of black paint onto this scratch art that I did. Okay. Now I'm going to again use the tools to scratch into it while it's still wet. Um, and you'll see that it will come right off. And you again will see all the bright color underneath. creating different designs. So I'm gonna work on this one for a little bit. The idea with this one is that you really have to work kind of quickly 
otherwise it will um, it will dry on you so this one has a little less time for actual scratching because once it dries it'll be harder to get on there but you can still do it it just won't be as easy as it is um, while it's wet <laughs> Okay, so I have finished two pieces of scratch art, one using crayon only and one using crayon and um, paint. Um, again, you can use oil crayon or regular crayon. Um, it's a ton of fun. I really enjoy doing it. I think you guys will love it too. Um, and I look forward to seeing some of your scratch art uh, and enjoying viewing it as much as I enjoy doing it. Um, thanks for watching and can't wait to see you again soon.